Good morning, world. Welcome to my backyard. It's about 8.30 a.m. and my face is so puffy from allergies. Sorry, it's so friggin' bright out. Today's video is going to be about how to customize your makeup brushes, being a makeup artist, working with people who have very similar products to myself. It's very easy to get things confused or swapped and then not know whose is whose and then you end up getting someone's product that is 75% used when yours is only 25% used. It's just not fun. So this is a fun and easy way to customize your brushes so that you don't have that issue. I didn't make this up. This has been around for many years. Um, some people use nail polish on the end of brushes, but I chose duct tape and <laughs> I had my beagle. Carlton! <laughs> You're probably like, why are you wearing a scarf in the summer? Literally, the weather here has been bipolar, so I'm wearing like a long sleeve dress. A scarf because I can. Early fall is my favorite fashion season. I'm just in love with it. So customizing your brushes is a fun way to just feel like your kit is your own and not so generic and standard. And by what is out there, it's more personal. It makes you want to use it. It's pretty self-explanatory. All you're doing is cutting duct tape and putting it around the brush. But I decided to film it in case you wanted to see how to do it. So what you're going to need for this DIY is some makeup brushes, some duct tape of choice, I chose hot pink because it goes with my kit, some scissors, and any additional products that you want to customize as well. First, you want to begin with any makeup brush of choice. Take your duct tape and peel back a strip. You're going to want to cut this strip as straight as possible. Continuing your cuts with the center of the scissor makes it a little easier to cut. Stick one side of your duct tape to the table to hold it down and start cutting about half inch pieces. From here, take your piece and simply wrap it around your makeup brush. You can go as far down or up on your brush as possible. I like to stick the tape a little bit towards the end of the brush just because I like the look of it, but feel free to put it anywhere you want. If your brush is larger than others and you have a space like this, you can just take another piece of duct tape and cover it right up. First brush down, 997 to go. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Now to repeat, we're taking another brush, taking one of the slices that we cut off before and just wrapping it around. You'll get the hang of it. I know it's very hard to take in, but no worries. You got this. Once you get the hang of it, you'll see how quick and easy it is. And here are some additional examples. Now for this brush, I didn't want to cover the brush's logo and it is quite expensive so I just put the duct tape towards the top of the brush so that the logo wouldn't be covered and it still looks unified. As far as additional products, I'm just taking my gel eyeliner and going crazy with it. You can do whatever you want with the duct tape. You can cover the top, you can put a simple piece on the bottom, cover it however you would like. Right now I'm just wrapping it around the surface of the gel eyeliner and you'll see how that looks there. If you don't like what you've done, this DIY is very flexible, it'll peel right off. Here I'm just making a design like an X. You can do whatever you want to customize this. Put your initial on the top sticker on the bottom and you could also write right on top of it. It's like summer camp when you had to initial your underwear. And for my last example I'm just taking another product which is a concealer that I just bought you'll see in my last haul and wrapping it around. Thank you so much for watching let me know if you want to see any other videos in the future and I'll see you next time. Okay thanks bye!